Uh, we, we've had you on before to talk about it, money in general, but yeah. how is investing in a baby's future different from just regular investing? Well, it's actually a good prompt to get parents to start thinking about the future. Most parents kind of put it off until the kids are in their teens and all of a sudden college comes up. And it's, oh my goodness, it's going to cost $20,000 a year. And they look at their savings account and there's very little there. <laughs> so if you start putting away a little bit now, $50 a week, when the baby's born, you'll have this nice nest egg well, yeah. when the time comes. How, how can you determine the cost of raising a child? Well, this is when technology comes to the rescue and where the internet is great. Because you can go to the website and look it up and determine how much you can save for your child's future. There's actually interactive calculators, such as how to raise a child. So, for example, if you say you want to go to an Ivy League school when you're uh, <laughs> turning 18, and sure. it's going to cost you $20,000 a year, that's the cool. big number Is here. that all, huh? That's all. Let's put in results and see how much per year this child's going to cost us. It's not going to crash on us, is it? No, it's not too bad. <laughs> so Max already is age zero, or zero to one, is costing me $11,000 a year. Yikes. I really need to think about saving. Yeah. But look when he jumps up when he's 17, 18 years old, $23,000 a year. Well, it, it takes a lot of money. It's important to think, though. I mean, you got to think almost 20 years ahead of time, and that's what doing all this, that's why it's all important. Yeah. You had a, a website there briefly, wiredscholar.com. What are people yep. going to find there? This is a great site to go to determine how much a month you should put away. Oh. So think about where you want your kid to go to college, how much you want to spend on them when they're growing up, and then you could come and put in your savings goal, which tells you on the previous calculator, and you can find out how much you need to put away each month. Are there any specific programs for education? I remember there a term that was floating around when I was growing up, education IRA. Yep, yep. There's still what's called education IRAs, but they got smart and renamed it. After all, IRA is individual retirement account, and college planning and retirement don't seem to go together. Not Unless really. you're an older parent. <laughs> However, they renamed it. It's now an educational savings account. And there's lots of places you can invest your money. There's UGMAs, there's 529s, there's I-bonds, and there's sure. a ESAs. So the Internet's a great place to come and find interactive charts, look and compare them all, and decide which place is best for you to put your cash. Oh, well, that's good to know. Thank